Hi, my friends. Peace. It is Magical Mandy. Finally, I have been MIA whew, for so long. Uh, come on, Briggs. Say hi. My husband and I went to Galveston. Here's Briggs. We rode the motorcycle down to Galveston. And um, for our second wedding anniversary trip and it was amazing we had so much fun we had such a good time however i was a dork and i wanted to work on my tan and i'm like oh you know i'm trying to be all natural and everything and not have the the chemicals so i'm like oh i don't believe in some sunblock watch out briggs let me show them so i got this most horrendous horrible horrible sunburn like oh like to the like nth degree I don't even know like my skin peeled I couldn't like raise my arms oh it was horrible um so like I just couldn't do anything for the longest time for a good week um and then they started peeling and oozing and I had to go to the doctor and put cream on it and it was a whole ordeal so I just couldn't I mean my house is a wreck Everything's a wreck. I just haven't been able to do anything since that. <laughs> Briggs is close up. <laughs> so, and I know y'all have missed Briggs. But, um, while we were in Galveston, I was able to go to the witchery. And, um, Jen the Taxidermy, which had told me about it and it was so awesome it was so much fun they were so nice there and they had so many magical things I could have spent a fortune but of course my sweet husband was with me and that was like hunting with the game warden so I paced myself and I told myself I will go back uh, maybe like a girl's trip with some witchy friends or something and save up and be able to spend more but I did get these cute little candle holders I got the goddess and I got that one for my altar so I'm pretty excited about that that was a good little splurge and then I got this beautiful beautiful I don't know if I want to use it as a tapestry or at hello Briggs yes it smells good or as like a shawl like for rituals or for like an altar cloth I don't know but I had to have it oh Briggs moved my camera <laughs> yeah it's very professional photography here okay anyway I know I'm sideways sorry but I'm here and that's what counts. So anyway, I just knew I had to have it because it is glorious. It was the prettiest one they had. And you guys, I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. It smells like magic and patchouli. And so I'm hoping the smell of the witchery doesn't fade off of this anytime soon. Oh, look at Briggs just sitting by me. Hey Briggs, you being good. He's such a good boy. All right, so that was my haul. That was all I was able to spend at the witchery with the husband there. Um, but on my trip, I made a little charm for safe travels. And in it, I took a piece of turquoise, which brings safety to travelers and things like that. It's um, good for... For travelers, let me try to make this straight. No, nope. I should have done that before I started filming. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway, so um, I brought my turquoise for good luck traveling. And then out of my bone casting kit, I got my um, compass ring. And it symbolizes um, always knowing your way, being able to find your way, and things like that. So I kept that in my purse the whole time we were traveling. Yeah, Briggs has to smell everything. <laughs> it's not edible, buddy. It's not a treat. And my kid and his fiance came over and um, they took care of my ferrets and Briggs and fed the two beasts in the backyard. Um, but Briggs has not left my sight since I returned. 
My sunburn is itching so bad. Ow. I'm trying not to scratch it and keep my medicine on it, but it's horrible. That's why I haven't filmed in so long. And then before I left, I think I forgot to show you, I got this adorable wolf. Um, I think he's, I don't know if he's not agate, Me Mexican what? Onyx. He might be Onyx. I got from the Practical Magical, Practical Magic Store. And I love him. He's been in my purse, you know, since the wolf is my, my power animal. So I don't think I had showed that to y'all. Um, but since I got back, um, I haven't been able to do much. I've been extremely low energy. Um, so one day though, kind of in between when it was feeling good and when it started peeling and hurting again, um, I felt good for a day and I was able to do a little bit. It was, um, on the new moon and that's my most powerful time. Like I couldn't sleep that night. I was just so energetic and everything, but I didn't want to overdo myself. Um, but I did get to finally make my road opener oil, which I had had planned since. I don't know, January? I know I went over to my friend Sadie's house and she gave me this amazing huge uh, wine bottle and we had fun. We painted some bottles and I painted the uh, crossroads there and the, um, the rune there. Is that Rado? I don't, I'm not really up on my runes. I know I um, researched it and it was the one that helps you like make decisions um or crossroads or whatever i'll have to research it again um because i've forgotten since then and i know you're supposed to put a key that you have opened used to open a door so it will help you open doors when you're at a crossroads and you need to make a decision and um i put all my good stuff in there and i'll make a video um Actually, I just, I used Jen the Taxidermy Witch, um, her road opener oil. Um, so look her up, look up Jen the Taxidermy Witch road opener oil. And she has tutorials for so many amazing oils. Um, so that's where I got my inspiration. Of course, you want to make it your own. Um, but it's good to kind of get a baseline of what different oils mean and kind of the basic uh, ingredients that go into them, but Jen the Taxidermy Witch, man, she's awesome. So anyway, that was one thing that I was able to do. I just haven't felt in my magic, um, and my magic room is a mess. This is all I'm showing you of it, but I did get this cool little Magical Mandy, Punky Doodle, Whimsical Working, um, sign for if I ever do any vendor shows or anything with any of my wares and then you can see my my yellow because i'm feeling i'm feeling the yellow until the sun betrayed me <laughs> well i really betrayed myself not using sunblock i can't blame the sun for doing what the sun does but um so that's good i have that going for me that makes a nice little background it's smaller than i thought it would be but eh, it's cool so let's see um since then, so today I'm feeling a little better because I did go to the doctor and got some Bacterban or Bac, 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 Bacitracin, I don't know, whatever, that good ointment. And so I was able to like wear clothes for the first time in over a week because I have not been able to put anything on my shoulders. Um, so I wanted to get out of the house and I've been watching a lot of uh, thrift hauls. And so we have at the Methodist Church... Um, just down from my house on the first weekend of the month they have um um like a thrift shop like to help the the needy and the women of the church and stuff briggs what are you doing <laughs> he's exploring um so anyway i went there and they always have really cute neat stuff and they're super affordable and i found these they remind me of the Merkaba. Merkaba, Merkaba, <laughs> um, Ascension thing, and, um, so I got them, they're 
kind of dirty and everything but i can clean them up i can use them and then i didn't realize until i went to check out that this one was broken and for everything i got she was only going to charge me 75 cents and then she saw this was broken i was like you know what it's fine here take a dollar because they're so cheap um so anyway those are cute i got those uh, and then they have these cute little incense burners, the brass, look, it's so tiny. You could put a cone of incense in there. <gasps> Isn't that the cutest thing? Oh my gosh, so I got that. And they had this just old little mason jar. Somebody had had muscadine jelly in it. But I can clean it up and cleanse it and use it for something. Um, Uh-oh, and there was another little brass incense burner but it must have fallen out but i mean like i say i only paid a dollar for all that so i'll probably find it somewhere but anyway that was a great haul but then there is this new thrift shop that opened up just down the road from my house which is dangerous but um i went in there one day and it was an older lady and we got to talk in and come to find out she used to live in Lovington, New Mexico when she was a kid. And she's like in her 60s or 70s now. Um, but I used to live in Lovington, New Mexico when I was like two and three. And it's just such a small world. And now we both ended up in this tiny, tiny little barely wide place in the road town in central Louisiana. And what are the odds, you know? So anyway, I think her parents were, I don't know if they were in the military or what, but she had done some moving around. So I just thought that was so interesting. And Lovington is a tiny, tiny place like, like where I live now. And so, I mean, it's just, what are the odds that I would find a kindred soul that's lived in two of the same towns as me? not at the same time but it's still pretty cool but anyway she has a ton of stuff that she's been collecting our whole life and her family was like you need to sell this stuff you need to like get a shop and have a store and so she does and she has the most amazing stuff she has things that she's bought at like estate sales and stuff like that that she's never even seen she would just go in and buy you know and so she's always emptying out her storage um buildings and everything and coming up with new inventory and I was like well look I'm into herbs and everything and I need glass jars and oh my god I do I have so much stuff that I haven't been able to put up because I'm out of room I have no more glass jars I've overwhelmed my little apothecary shelf i'm gonna have to do some rearranging to make room for it all um but i needed some glass jars you know and she gave me a call before we left for galveston saying that you know she had some glass jars they were all the same they're sealed and everything so um if i was interested they'd be two dollars a piece and she has quite a few of them I was like, well, okay, I'll go check it out when we get back from Galveston. Well, then I had to recuperate and everything. So I finally made it in today. I was so excited. And they are so much cuter than I ever could have imagined. So look at them. They're like ovals. Isn't that great? And they're like thick glass. They seal. They're all identical. And I swear they're brand new. I mean, they smell like nothing. They're not scratched. They're in perfect condition. And I just absolutely love them. I love them. And so this, she had, she had 15 that she said, but then I found another one that she had just placed on a shelf. And she's like, oh, 16, okay. And so I got all these boxes. One, two, three, plus that one extra one. All of those boxes full of those gorgeous little glass. I've got to work on my tripod. Little glass um, <laughs> jars. And so I'm going to be able to make my little apothecary setup so adorable. And it's all going to match. And I don't really care like if it all matches. Like I actually like the look of like different size 
you know, but for convenience sake, I mean, and it is kind of cute to be matchy matchy too. So not all of my stuff is going to match because not all of my stuff is going to fit into my 16 little jars, but just think of all the goodness I can do. Oh, <laughs> and also, um, you know, I save up my jars that like we cook with and stuff and clean them and cleanse them and um so I'm gonna show you my messy room pay no mind but can you see so those right there <laughs> are some that I I got that one at the same thrift shop that I got my little stuff at and then all those are food jars that we had so um i clean those up so i've got a good bit of glass jars now i just have to get the energy to actually whew, redo my whole apothecary area i'm gonna show you how bad it's gotten since you know i've been busy going on vacation and then being sick coming back please don't judge me but it hopefully also it will help you feel like we're we're all the same like we're trying to get our life together but it's hard so i always feel that like when somebody shows me their mess and the reality of life i'm like whoo thank goodness i'm not the only one so um if you judge me that's fine <laughs> i'm doing the best i can but um if this makes you feel better then good that's what i'm going for so this is how bad it is there's my desk and this right over there is my little apothecary shelf and everything's like on the floor. Oh, Briggs is kicking my glass jars. I've got stuff that just needs to be put up. Papers that need to go in my grimoire. Pain everywhere. My friend Sadie left her basket here like a month ago. <laughs> oh, my life is out of control. But thank goodness I am off for the summer. And hopefully I will get my energy back and I can get my magic flowing um, in a balanced, cohesive state again. And I think um, finally being able to make a, like I've made like my mini spills videos and stuff for you guys. But to actually like be in front of the camera, this is the first day I've actually felt like I look halfway human. And I know it's still pretty rough, but you know, um, I'm, I'm getting back into it and I have missed you guys and I have been keeping up with everything with tarot stock and I hated that I missed it and Jen's birthday party and everything, but, um, I've just kind of been laying low and lurking and trying to recuperate. So hopefully I will be getting my energy and my magic back and... I can quit itching this. <laughs> so anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you like my little haul and catching up and blessed be. Mwah. Have a great day. Bye. Paint the sky.